and welcome back to the WordPress basics videos. Now, in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you how to go ahead and set your discussion settings so that your site doesn't really get filled up with spam. And that can really happen a lot, especially in this day and age. Um, you'll see when we go to our website, there are a couple, there's a, there's a post that's already been posted. Okay, this hello world. And you can see right now, comments are on. And I really, I don't want, I don't want to be able, I don't want people to be able to post comments on my site because I found, especially in the past year or two, if you do allow comments, you just get filled up with people trying to build backlinks to your site. And that's, that's not really why I built this site. So what you do is we're back in our WP admin area and over here under settings, there's a little link that says discussion, okay? And what's really important here, and really, this is the way that I do it, but I don't want people to be able to post comments on new articles, okay? So as a general, as a general setup, I'll always turn this off. If I want to later start a post where people can leave comments, you can go ahead and adjust that right in the individual post, and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, and then these are just some other comment settings. If and when I do allow people to post, I do want to make sure that they fill out their name and email. Okay, it also gives you some other some other options here. Like I said, I'm gonna turn it off so. A lot of this isn't going to be relevant to me, and it's really not something that I'm that concerned with. This comments blacklist, this would be in case you wanted to, like if you did have it open, and if you have other WordPress sites, although if you had other WordPress sites, chances are you wouldn't be watching this basics on WordPress, but if you do get spam comments, you can go ahead and enter in either their email address, the IP, or URL and it'll blacklist them and it will not allow them to post comments on your blog. So you can fill that out. Once again, I I really don't an avatar, it's basically in an image that follows you from basically blogs to blogs. When you can register an avatar right at at WordPress and you know, you can have fancy looking things. Uh I personally I'm not worried about this. Um, so I leave it as show avatars, but since I don't allow commenting, it really doesn't matter too much. And then you have your maximum rating. And what this maximum rating is, it basically, you know, it says what it is. They can either be suitable for all audiences, possibly offensive, intended for adult audiences, and then X, meaning it's even more mature than above. You know, I, I develop blogs and make blogs that, you know, can be for anyone. So if you're like me, you're going to just go ahead, leave this as G, and then down here you can choose how, how your avatar will be displayed. Um, I personally, I either leave it as blank or a mystery man. And then... You're going to just go ahead and click on Save Changes. Okay, and then from here, all our discussion settings should be set. And like I said, this is the most important one. And I will see you in the next video. And what we're going to do then is we're going to set up our permalinks, which will be fun.